Uh, then I couldn't hear what he was saying. I rolled my window down some more, and he said, park here. I said, what do you say, I can't park here? And he goes, yes. And I said, who are you? He said, the police. No, I said, no, I said, they'll call the cops. He goes, I am the cop. And I said, dude, call somebody else. Okay. In a minivan, no uniform, no nothing. I don't know who you are. And he goes, so then I said, so then I started recording. But well, my dash cam is recording the whole time until my windshield. So I said, this is some bullshit. I've been here since last night. There's not one sign, not one, all the way from that ramp, all the way down here. Is that land over there accessible? Where the cattle guard is? That is. Now here's the thing. There's no sign over there either, right? So how do I determine that from this? You know what this looks like right here? It this looks, looks like, like this is I can't, I, not just that. Let me explain what I thought. Yeah. Last night I got here at midnight. Right. Ran out of drive time. I wanted to stop and park earlier, but we got caught up in a traffic accident, so I had to get off where I could. So I parked there last night, got it on my dash cam. But then everybody started acting real retarded and parked it too close to the fucking ramp, and I said, there's gonna be an accident. So I got out and I walked. I got that on camera too, in the dark, all the way to fuck over here, right? Why are they coming to cold like that? Come on, man, that's not right. Look at it, watch out. Okay, he's speeding around there in the dirt and slide right into you. Yeah. How do you determine that from this? You just can't. You just don't wait. You I know what this you. looks like? This looks like that land, right? But it looks like an area where they dump rocks and dirt. Yeah, I got you. You know what I'm saying? So and that's, that's and there's not one sign that says no parking. Yeah. So I like ID. I'm good, yeah. I ain't got no problem. It's just he wanted to ID me. He took my knife away from me without my permission. I ain't doing that wrong. This is tough, so this is my but you got I don't want to talk to you guys with guns on you, but you're not gonna take them off. You know what I'm saying? You have bad stuff. 10665. 10665. What's your badge number? 12594. 12594. All right. So here's the thing. An unmarked van come out here. A minivan. You can see the tire tracks right there where he pulled up. He sits here for a few minutes. Two guys in the van. Wearing regular clothes. Then he comes back. All right, well, I guess. So anyway, so at the end of the day, there should be a sign. You can, I don't feel that you should be able to trespass somebody from the, any piece of property that's not marked private or do not park. I if you. you follow that shit all the way down here, there's not one sign here that says that. So how can you legally trespass me when I didn't do nothing wrong as far as it looks? Yeah. You just yeah. said I could have parked over there, right? You, if you parked on private property... How do I know? But here's the thing. You're, you're absolutely right that I can't do anything. I cannot arrest you until you... Do I look like Maybe. the kind of guy, be honest, yes, I'm sorry if you interrupt me, but do I look like the kind of guy that's going to come fucking back here after all this? No, I don't know. This is, I, I don't know. I've like had all but, sorts of experiences, okay? And sometimes... But to have a guy come out here and throw himself off as a cop and he's not a fucking cop. Yeah. And I was already about to pull up. I'm warming my engine up. I'm fixing the move. If there would have been a sign here that said no parking, I wouldn't be here. But what this looks like to me is county property that's paid for by tax dollars where they've done all their road debris. And if they didn't want us parking here, then they put a sign up and say, hey, no parking, private property, hey. whatever, I wouldn't have parked. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, cool. that's easy. So, listen. That's okay. the only problem. Then you said, well, I'm going to try to do hey, so I can trespass. Talking, just listen to him. He's a deputy All right, here. I'm going to stop talking. Man. He's a deputy. All I need is to either get your No, that's what you said a while yes. ago. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to go get my ID and give it to you. Then I'm going to file the complaint that I don't feel that that was right. Because as far that's as I okay. know, I haven't committed a crime. I will There's give no you crime. my sergeant's information so you can fill and it just out. Just so I know, what is my crime again? I am trespassing you from this location. What is my crime? If you were to stay, if you were to stay, it would be trespassing, which would be a misdemeanor. Okay. If I was to stay. But that right now, I haven't committed a crime. But if you don't leave, we're in a, kind of in a catch-22 impasse right here. Okay? Well, we're going to get it straight out, I promise because, you. So I'm going to call my attorney Monday, and I'm going to send him these videos, and then we're going to deal with it there. Because here's the deal. They said that they trespassed you, okay? Now, I have Who's to it? go. It don't they, matter they they say, I don't know who the fuck they were. I, I understand that. Okay? Was, you should have got... You, you seen him the video. 1237. What did he do in the video? He drove off when I went to hear what he said. To see what they both did. It looked like two redneck dudes coming out here fucking with us out in the park line. And then they run out and call y'all to come over and do their dirty work. I mean, that, that's pretty... That, but I that, can that say that he pointed a gun at me. Are you going to go pull them over right now? No. But if you 
If they point a gun at yeah. So, that's, so that's part of the investigation. So, so look, dude. What he's saying, he got a call with regards to trespass. Okay. He's got to be here to see what's going on. Right. Why you got the escort to say? Yeah, but you wasn't here with the so you don't know what happened in the beginning. Okay. First so thing you did is to put your hands on your head and all that shit. Right. So That's I'm not trying, right. So look, I'm trying to be cool with you, right? Now, I'm, no, don't do that with me. I'm seasoned. I'm seasoned? What do you mean? No worries. I have made it. You know what's going on? Right? I know huh? what y'all, all the tactics. Don't do that. Y'all were doing your jobs. I understand that. I had, the help Listen, I had the respect for that. Just Let's don't get that twisted. I didn't have a problem with him coming up and asking. Okay. But once I didn't told you, don't say, well, I'm going to trust that you because of what he said. It don't matter what he said unless he was a cop. That'd be different. But he's full of fucking shit. I don't know what's going on. Send my car. I'm You're safe? Listen, I don't plan to do no crazy shit. I guess I'm having a controversial conversation because I don't agree with what happened. Taking my life and all that is not necessary. But at the end of the day... Do you, do you understand where it's coming from, though? I understand about him coming up and talking to me. But making me put my hands on my head and taking my knife and all that weird shit. Oh. So what happens then? Yeah, but cops shoot three floors. You mean the well, other way around? I mean, both, both, <laughs> both ways. I, I get it. You see what I'm saying? I, I don't. I can't trust you anymore. So, you can trust me, right? So here's the deal. You're not, I do have a senior trooper that is coming out here. Okay. Right. In the meanwhile, because you threatened me with arrest if I do not ID, I ID you. You did that early. You said definitely. You didn't say you paid me, so you said you would. But don't get my ID when y'all can go with me. So you yeah. know what I'm Do you have any other weapons in the vehicle? No. Oh yeah. Do I have any shit? Tell you what, guys, yeah, where your ID is, guys. Or oh, you can go get it if you want. It's on the dash. If you want, some, you want to go get it? Where's the dash? Open the door, and it's right there on top of the dash. Look, when you right to this side of the steering wheel. Okay. Can you bring my water jug too, please? Anyone else in there? No, no, no. No dogs, nothing else. My water canister sitting there in the middle. If you can get that for me, I'd appreciate it. So I'm gonna give it to you, the ID, because you said you'll arrest me if I don't. Yes. But let's be honest. For one man or another, this is unfair. I, I get you. Sometimes it's unfair. Well, how many hours do you have left on your uh, off time? Well, obviously, I take. I would told you. Remember when I told you I was six to take off? Okay. That's why I was airing my system up, doing all that. Well, I remember you saying that. Bro. Hey, was... hey, hey! Don't touch that pipe. Don't touch the pipe. You'll learn. It ain't got no heat shield on it. You'll learn. How you doing? You are? You got an ID? Where's your pass number? I can't hear you. I'm sorry. 6519. 6519. I'm making a report tomorrow. I'm going to file a complaint. So I want to make sure that I got everybody that was here at the scene so they can put y'all's body here. Yeah, that's it. So I was about ready to leave out of here. I parked here last night. I ran out of hours. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you know, I don't care if you want to. Uh, and uh, I was parked on the ramp because it was an accident further up the road and we got stuck, so I ran out of time, so I had to park there. Yeah. Uh, so I'm running for the mic. Good luck getting it out. You got to wiggle it out. Yeah. So, long story short, I walked all the way around here in the dark. I got it on my dash cam in my truck. Yeah. I walked all the way around here in the dark with my flashlight looking for a sign that said no parking on private property in here. And as you know, probably, there's nothing here at all. So what this looks like to me is the same land as like over there, except maybe the county's dumping some stuff here while they're working on the highway or both, but it doesn't say no parking. See an accessible driveway to drive in here. You can see all kinds of tire marks. It could be their vehicles. It could be anybody. Last night when I got here, there was a pickup here with a pull that had us jet skis in the back of the car. That's on my dash cam too. So I pull all, after I walked all the way over in the dark, at 1 o'clock in the morning, I went all the way back around got my truck and got off that ramp, slowly creeped around here and parked. Airing up my vehicle, a little minivan pulls up here. When the minivan pulls up here, he turns around and sits right here for a few minutes. Got it on my dash cam. He's just sitting here. Man, I'm thinking it's just because a bunch of people have been out here. They turn around, parked here for five, ten minutes, and took off. A whole bunch of them. I got them all on my dash cam. No, over here? Oh, no, I told him what's going on because nobody can talk to him. They only talk to me, which is another funny thing. So the guy in the minivan, he turns around, pulls over there, and rolls his window down. I cracked my window. Where, actually, where do you see it at now? And I'm like, what's up? First of all, I thought it was disrespectful not to get out and come talk to you. Whatever. I'm like, what's up? He said, you can't park here. What am I looking at? Two guys in a minivan wearing regular clothes, you know, not construction workers or nothing. And 
And I'm thinking it's just somebody messing with truck drivers on the side of the road, whatever. I said, well, they'll call the police if I'm not supposed to be here. He goes, I am a cop. I said, you're a cop? And then he rolls his window up. So like I showed him the video, I climbed down out of the truck to go over to ask him, what'd you say? And he just takes off. Two of them, they gone. Okay. So then I come back. Let me, let me get the, all this out. So when I come back, I start recording this whole thing from there all the way down. So I put it on my little TikTok thing so everybody can see there's no things here. Then I call the police. I say, hey, I just had somebody out here impersonate the police officer, baby. He said he was a cop. Oh yeah, we got you. We got units on their, on their way over there. So I'm like, okay, well maybe he was a cop, but if he was a cop, why did you run off? Okay, I can understand if you went up here to wait on backup, whatever. He gets here, he's like, put your hands on your head. So I put my hands on my head, he comes and takes my knife okay. away. I'm okay. sticking this back in your truck, okay? Okay. Anyway, he takes my knife away, which I didn't think was right. But I had, I, I, and he said I was a threat, I was like, just sitting here parked. You know, so he took my knife away from me. And I'm like, man, so then I started recording at that point. I don't want to be a victim here in the middle of nowhere. Everybody, you may be a great officer. Okay? And she may be a great officer. I be a killer on this part time. And I don't know, no more than you know about me. It's not so much one sided anymore where all the police are great. I see it all the time. People get shot in the back and running, they just take stand, shoot at them. There's no telling what the fuck can happen. So at that point, I just started reporting. Then he said, if I did an ID, he was going to take me to jail. ID for what? He said, I'm trespassing. How are you going to trespass me from something that's not marked? private property or it's not marked don't park here all you got to do is come up and ask me hey leave now if i go down the street and come back and park here after you've asked me to leave which i own this business and people look me up on the internet my pictures on the internet okay so it's no doubt it's me that owns that i'm not going to do no stuff like that i know some people will but give me the opportunity to fuck up before you trespass me all you had to do was ask me to leave and then we would have the conversation and that would have been it then he went from if you don't give me the ID, then yes, you can't be taken to jail. To, well, maybe so. And I said, listen, and I no offense to you. I don't okay. know if you started just yesterday. So you know. I, I'm, I'm going to listen. I just want to finish because if I'm not, I'll get I'll lose track where I'm at. Y'all have to hear all this over right. again. So I don't know if you just started yesterday. No disrespect. Everybody started day one. I started day one driving trucks and doing crazy. So my point being is, I don't know you and you don't know me. So when I ask for a supervisor, if you won't even reach for your radio to call one, first and first and i say you're not going to get a supervisor my sergeant's not going to come out here all those things are red flags to me and you might be doing something you're not supposed to be doing that's what i thought now i might be wrong just like you said we don't know each I other said my sergeant was to me. there that's you go what that's what said. said and you said i heard you i thought i got it on here you said he wasn't coming out here okay either way he's not on you don't have nobody supervising you you could have started yesterday and you could be kind of them guys there could be making the call to you using you to bully me to get what they want. I don't know who those guys was. And you said, well, they said this. Just because they said it doesn't make it the truth. And we all know that. It don't matter. Anybody can be able to tell a lie. That's all I'm saying. So my point being is, you guys hear my truck as I left because I was airing up to leave when I was approached by those guys. And ever since then, my dad's came to show you I have not been back in my truck since. Matter of fact, I walked over and let this gentleman know, hey, did they knock on your door? And I didn't see it. He goes, no. And it was funny that they only approached me you know what I'm saying? And not him. And he told you. Nobody talked to him. So at the end of the day, that's where it is. I have no disrespect for none of you guys. I know you're doing your job. And I had no problem with you coming up and asking. What I had a problem with, instead of you coming up and saying, hey, what's going on? You got out the car. Hey, put your hands on your head and all that stuff. That's where my, you know, my heart started beating like, oh, shit, where are we going with this? I'm not doing nothing wrong. Other than they said I was parked where I wasn't supposed to be. That was it. Did, he, did they tell you I had a weapon? said that you were aggressive towards them. That's what they said. Did you see the video? Did I even talk to him? I don't know. I, I saw part of that video that you showed me. Can I show you the video? You want to see it? You can just tell me what you're telling oh. me. Just so you, right. just so okay. you know, we're done. If you want to leave it, no, but it just, but I don't want this to happen again. You had to get an ID me. And I don't think that was right. I felt like I got bullied out of my ID and, I was, and it was not right. It was not wrong. And I'm going to find out I'm going to call my attorney to make sure, because I'm not going to tell you that I'm a lawyer. We all know that I'm not a lawyer. But I know about the law, and I'm probably sure some of you know why and how. I've been on the other side. So I know this, like the back of my hands, which shouldn't be and shouldn't be right. And at this point, this is where we start standing up for rights. It's not, I'm not one of those guys out all day long with a video camera trying to make y'all provoke you. That wasn't it. I didn't call you out here. But I was polite to you until you started, put your hands on your head. I need to take your knife.
guys. By the way, did you pat me down for any other weapons? That's all I got. So no disrespect to you. I'm not angry at you. I'm angry at this whole process. It shouldn't have went like this. You should have heard my side of the story first, kind of like what he's doing. And then, and I know you guys are out here in the fucking middle of nowhere, and I have that respect. You're out here by yourself sometimes, and I understand that. And even though I've been on the other side, I do not have a problem with all police officers. Just ones that are abusive with their authority. That's the only time I have Everybody understands. Yes, sir. No, sir. Whatever. You didn't find any warrants on me or nothing, right? I'm good. You're good to go. Okay. That was all I wanted to say. So I'm sorry. Thank you for being patient and listening. Okay. I appreciate it. So am I right or wrong? Would you just educate me? Okay. You see the fence right there? Uh-huh. See how it's going up the right of the fence? It's a still controlled access highway. Okay. And per state law and federal law, controlled access highway, you're only allowed to stop in case of an emergency. Okay. They use this for storing base and material when they're working out here. And that's why this is here. It's usually blocked off, but they, they had some stuff here a while ago and they just didn't get the burn back up. It's not us, that's ADOC, okay? The weapon thing, I would have disarmed you too, okay? Especially if I'm coming in and they've told me that you were arrested for I don't know yet, so I'm gonna eliminate the threat and the Supreme Court, Court gives me the authority to do that, okay? okay? I'm gonna give you your knife back, just like we did, put it up there, everything's okay. Why you couldn't give it back to me? It's, took it out of my we always put it back in your vehicle away from you okay so then we don't we don't give in case we're not saying you see you don't know me i don't know you right okay and you got guns I'm now and i'm saying you're armless. i'm now giving you a knife and you're within 21 feet of me that fight goes one of two ways now and i don't want it to go that way okay so we can end in a cordial conversation it is but it's still a hell of a disagreement still feel like you guys are wrong and I will find out tomorrow. I'll reach out and do all the things we're supposed to because I can't. But to trespass me without warning me first is not right. Especially when there's no signs and there were other vehicles here. So and, and I, so I you know I don't know every law in every state I go to. No more than you guys do. I'm but sure you don't know every law. The laws are mostly the same on the driving on the interstate. So the signs way, are out there they tell us what to do. Most of the places they have a sign or a chain or a barrier like you say. Okay. Like, if that barrier would have been there, then it would have been obvious. But here's the thing. That land over there, it's okay to park in, right? Yeah. How do I know the difference? I know you're telling me the fence, right? Yeah. But that is just because that's got a fence, don't mean it's still legal for me to park over there. There's no sign over there that says I can or can't, and there's not one here either. I have a truck driver, and when I came here last night, to me, it was an emergency. Because I didn't want to park on that ramp and get hit. So I found the most safest place. It's on my log book. Yeah, two miles down the road, there's two truck stops. Yeah, I don't know that. No. Number one. And number two, it's easier for me to go to this safe place than to go two miles down the road with no time. I can explain, you know, 20, no. 30 seconds or whatever. Here's the thing. You can also put in your notes, your, your log book, saying, hey, I had to move to a safe location from mile post I thought blank this was. to mile post blank. At night, Again, this looks safe. I'm just telling you. Right, I got to push motor vehicle inspector. You can note that in your notes. We got both. He's over by 15 minutes to move down the road to find a safe location. I can live with that. Okay. That makes sense. And you put the mile post in the location, and it makes sense to us. Well, one time I did get asked, and it was here recently in Colorado, you couldn't find a closer place than, you know, 10 miles, and I think it was 10 miles. And I was like, that's all I saw. And it was okay. And you got the right to appeal that one. I know. You can do all that oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, they got it the damn way. Again, but right now, I'm just telling you. I don't want to be treated like because here's the thing. Anybody can call in and say whatever and get me killed out here. What is that shit called when they do that? You've seen cases of it on the news where they call and say somebody's got a gun and y'all come charge and that person gets killed. It turns out it was some bullshit call that they made and they wasn't truthful about it. I showed you the video and I can show you the dash cam video from the time they were there. It's the same video. You see, did I even talk to them? In that video you saw, did we even were at work? The video that I saw, there was not. There wasn't none, right? Because they didn't even say one word. They were hightailing out of here. Right. They were hightailing out of here. That was it. That's what they were doing. Hightailing out of here. And I got the proof. My word, I can show you the video and I can show you that. Because you don't know when I started this. But that dash cam was on the loop. But they didn't have one word with me. They called them, him, and got him believing that I was aggressive. When all I was trying to do was step away from my loud engine to see what they were saying. It was your appearance is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I get that all the time. And to have somebody come out here and tell me embarrassed the traffic going down the road and I ain't did nothing wrong. I was just sleeping. I pulled over here for an emergency last night to get off that ramp. I walked over here. I got all the proof that I walked over here and did all my surveillance and checking. You know. okay. I understand, so, I understand but, trying to get off the road. And 
and I understand that we're having this cordial conversation. It's still a hell of a disagreement. I'm just not going to get mad and go crazy. I know better than that. I know I have to make phone calls and have people that are more educated than me call in and say, okay, what happened? And, and that's the reason why I made these videos. So that you talk to an attorney, you got to talk to one here in Arizona, not an attorney. I've got the attorney I got here. from? I got one of those trucking attorneys that covers the, they have different offices all across. I understand. So that, you know what I'm talking about. Keep that yeah. TTC. Yeah. So I call them and they get the right one over here and whatever. I see them in court once, twice a month. I know. Huh? I see those attorneys in court once or twice a month. Oh, they're not worth a whole hell of a lot. They can do some stuff. At least they can entertain me and get me pointed in the right direction for something else. And it has nothing to do with you personally. It's just, what if I run into you later on and we're dealing with another situation and I'm like the same officer and I'm thinking, like, okay, this is, it may not be right. And I'm not saying that it isn't, or it may. That's what I'm saying. So other than that, that's it. That's all I, I got. I'm, I'm gone. I won't come back. Yeah.